Thank you for joining us in this episode of Discover Your Real Estate Career. Today, we're going to talk about the five reasons why new agents should not or don't fail in the real estate business. And the first thing we want to think about is, or item number one, plus I'm going to throw in a couple other, you know, zingers for you. But uh, the first thing we do is we realize that real estate is hard work. Um, I think a lot of folks get into it and they think, well, gosh, you know, it should be fairly simple to do a couple of transactions a year. But to be on the top of your license and to really do a great job, uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes follow up. Um, and as my wife always says, you know, it's spelled J-O-B, not F-U-N. And it uh, and that with that goes work, discipline and really being able to uh, target what you're trying to do and helping people, which leads me to the next thing is, is that we set real goals. And by setting real goals, we got to know what our limitations are. Uh, we also got to know what our opportunities are and how fast we can grow and take advantage of the tools that are around us to be able to help our career. And in setting those goals, they got to be measurable. They got to have a beginning date and an end date. And you've got to have the discipline to be able to stick with those goals. And even on the dark days of when your goals seem so far away um, that they are just not attainable, you got to read them, sit down and think about them and uh, surround yourself with people um, who really support those goals. And you know, that's the other thing is, you gotta share your goals and you gotta share your goals with people that are going to inspire you, that are gonna stick with you and people that are going to help you attain those goals and keep you on track. I remember we had, uh, when our kids were small, our kids all had their goals. And one of the questions that was asked when, that they all had, they all empowered each other to ask each other this question when they weren't going in the direction of their goals. And that was simply that question. And I'll never forget one time, I, two of my boys were really um, in, the, uh, in the family room and one of them was getting a little wayward on, on things. And the youngest one looked at him and said, hey, Jeremy, are you going in the direction of your goals? And uh, very powerful. And Jeremy turned around and he said, no. And uh, Casey said, well, then it's time to change. And, uh, and, and Jeremy made that mindset change right then and there. Is that going to happen all the time? But you need a Casey in your life that's going to say, hey, are you going in the direction of your goals? Uh, and to really inspire you to get there. The next thing is, is we spend time with the right people. Um, you want to spend time, and by the right people, I mean those that are like-minded, those that are uh, have the same end result, the same definition of success, uh, the same work ethic. Uh, those are the right people that you want to spend time with, the people that are going to inspire you. Um, my daughter, when she first got into the business, she would uh, the first call that she would make, she knew she had to make calls. The first call she would always make would be to my mom, her grandmother. And, uh, you know, that was always a warm call. It always made her feel good. It gave her the confidence to go on to that large stack of calls along the way. The next thing you want to do is we develop a list of people to keep informed about the real estate business. And that's your CRM, your client relationship management. And, you know, um, I think a, a question was asked, you know, what's the best CRM out there? And the answer is, it's the one you're going to use and it's the one you do use. Um, we provide one for our agents and it's, it's very robust. It does a great job. Um, but to uh, stay in front of your clients on a regular basis is really important. Um, and not only your clients, but it's the people, it's that list of people that you want to keep informed about what the market is doing and what the real estate business is really all about. Um, because let's face it, the media does not do a good job of doing that. Um, the media is selling sensationalism. They talk about, um, you know, just all the things that, that want people to uh, look at the look at the news right, news station, and uh, and buy the products that they advertise. The next thing is is we study and practice our sales skills. Um, and I think that's really critical to your success. You've got to be able to practice. You can't, um, you know, I'm a football guy. I love football. And I, I realize that I know that, you know, four to five days out of the week, three to four hours a day, those guys are out there practicing the game. Um, and uh, they're practicing in to get, to get ready for a three-hour game. And think about all the hours that they put into that to get ready for that three-hour game so that they can go out and dominate and win. Um, and I think that real estate or any career for that matter is uh, it's important to practice your skills along the way. 
couple, I promised you a couple of zingers here, and that's important as well. And uh, I think the first thing of those zingers is out of those three is number one, you got to exercise and you got to take care of yourself uh, mentally and physically. And you, you, I, when you get out there and exercise and move around, aggressive movement is one of my agents always talks about. Hey, Joe, did you get out there and do your aggressive movements today? And I, you know, the answer is absolutely. Um, and uh, it gives you a different mindset and it really helps you um, proceed. And you know, Monday may be a difficult day for you to put your feet on the ground. Wednesday, it gets a little easier to put your feet on the ground. Friday, it's really easy to put your feet on the ground because it's the last day of the week. You've got to take those two days off to recover. So exercise is also important. Positive persistence is really critical, especially in today's market or I guess in any market. And what I mean by positive persistence is you've got to remain positively persistent in your duties as a realtor and especially today when you're representing buyers. And the one thing that I've noticed about successful agents these days, they're representing buyers. Um, you know, when and, and I realize that listings are the lifeblood of the system, but by the same token, you know, buyers need our help, they need our advocacy. And so many of our competitors have taken ourselves out of that part of it because the positive persistence is very difficult. And you know, when you got when buyers gotta write 10, 15, 20 offers in order to get a home because they're competing for that. That's positive persistence and giving them the confidence to be able to go forward and say, you know, you didn't get that one. Let's go on to the next one and keep them going. Because at the end of the day, five years from now, they're going to be thanking you that they were able to buy a house. They're going to be thanking you that you were able to help them. And they're going to be thanking you for your positive persistence. And then the last thing I have for you is this. No news. Don't be watching the news. It's just negative stuff to put in your brain. And um, it's you don't need that information. What you need to do is control the input of what's coming into your brain and what you allow into your brain. The same thing what you allow into your body. You're not going to drink battery acid. Um, so why would you let uh, negative news get into your head and control you like that? So those are the things I wanted to talk to you about today. Those are the things I wanted to share. I think um, I'm happy you joined us. If you like what you hear, um, you know, make sure you like us, give us good standings, and uh, recommend us to your friends. With that, I want to say, charge on. Thank you for listening.